guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be doing a Slytherin makeup look. If you can't already tell, I've already done all of my face makeup off camera, meaning my eyebrows, my foundation, and all of that. I decided to go ahead and do that because I already showed you guys how I do my basic makeup in the Gryffindor tutorial, so if you want to see my foundation and all of that, I'll link that down below and you can just watch it there because it's literally like from start to finish how I do my makeup. I pretty much used all the same products that I used in the Gryffindor video, give or take a few, so I'll just link all of them down below in case you're interested on how I accomplished this basic face. Pretty much these makeup looks are just me doing cool eye makeup, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into that. Okay, so I zoomed in on my face because I'm pretty sure that's what beauty gurus do and that's what I did in the last video, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. I am trying to be better about framing it though because in my last video, every time I put on eye makeup, I was like down off the camera, which is not very helpful when showing people a makeup look. So we're gonna start by using my favorite palette ever, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I had to try really hard to enunciate that because I often mispronounce it and have to take like 20 takes, so I was trying to get it in one go. And we're gonna use this antique bronze color. It's like a brownie bronze. I mean, bronze isn't the title, so you probably could have assumed that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hair back with my trusty cat ear headband that makes it easier to get access to my face or whatever. I'm just using the brush that comes with the palette because I think it's pretty good. Um, it has two ends to it and I usually like to use this like flat end to place product on my eye. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of just like place it in the outer corner like that. So once I've placed it in my corner, I'm just gonna like have at it like this. I'll probably go in with another blending brush after this, but I'm just like, also, you're probably not supposed to pull on your eyes as much as I do, but like, whatever. I'm also going to use some Morphe brushes to blend. Um, then I'm going to be taking this other brown color in the palette called Cypress Umber, and it's just kind of a matte brown color versus the other one has a little bit of like a shimmer to it. And I'm going to place that in the inner corner like that. And I'm just going to swirl my brush, try to blend. I'm also going to take it like whatever's left over on the brush and bring it under my eye like that. Again, I'm gonna just go in with another Morphe blending brush. I think this is M142. I have like three blending brushes, I don't know. So now that I've got this like outer frame corner of my eye done, I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Donna. It's like a really pretty um, green, if you see that right there, it's not pretty. I absolutely love the ColourPop sh Super Shock <laughs> Super shock shadows. Why do they make all these makeup products like tongue twisters? These ColourPop shadows are much better if you just apply them with your finger. They come out really pigmented when you do it like that. So I'm just going to um, like tap it onto my lid. Kind of like get it going like that. Just get it all over my lid, make it really pigmented. I just touched my eye. <coughs> I don't know where to wipe this. I have nothing to wipe it on. No, that, that was a bad choice, that was a bad choice. Pro tip, always have some sort of cloth, paper towel, toilet paper or something to wipe your hands as you go along because clearly I was not prepared. Anyway, I'm gonna take one of these brushes and I'm just gonna blend the edges. I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the pigmentation right now. And I'm gonna go in with this other ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade I Heart This. Like it literally has, I don't think you can see that, but it literally has the shape of a heart. Um, But it's just this like really sparkly, like it looks like it's gonna go on like a creamy silver, but it just comes on literally as sparkles. And so I'm gonna put that over the green. I don't want to lose the intensity of the green, so I'm just going to go back in with a Donna like green color and kind of like go over the sparkles. Just pack it on, really. Then I'm going to go back in with the antique bronze, and I'm just going to like put it back in again over the edge. That was not very technical how I said that. I'm sorry. Also, then I'm going to take um, this color tempera. It's like this light color, and I'm going to put that along my brow bone and kind of like buff out everything, like diffuse it. Um, and then I'm gonna use this shade, um, it's like a gold shade called Primavera, and I'm gonna use that in my inner corner, like that. I kind of went a little crazy, but that's fine. So that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with my Stila Stay All Day liner. I just hit myself in the face with it. And I'm gonna try to do a bigger wing than I would normally do because I feel like Slytherins would like have like a really 
intense swing that could cut a bitch. So I'm gonna try to do that right now. Please pray to baby Jesus that I'll be able to do it because I'm not that good at wing planner. So hopefully I don't fuck everything up. I'm getting real ambitious with that wing. I didn't expect to make it that big. I mean, zero out of 10 would not recommend doing it just the way I did it, um, but we're gonna keep going because we got one eye done. Yeah, um, 100% these wings don't match. Please do not follow my example ever, ever, ever. I think this is as close as we're gonna get these to matching. I'm sorry, I'm really not very good at doing huge wings. I've never really tried to do this, especially not on camera. On top of that, we're gonna use this, I think it's card candy glitter. It's super old. It's honestly like kind of chunky and like not that good anymore, but it's silver and I just thought it would really complement this look. So we're gonna just kind of like go over our eyeliner with it. Just kind of like paint the glitter on over it a little bit. It's not coming out super great, but that's fine. We've committed. You know, and for good measure, we're just gonna add glitter to our cheeks too. So we're just gonna do that and then kind of like, I don't know, I just feel like a Slytherin might have glitter cheeks. You don't know. I apologize if I'm making assumptions about Slytherins that like maybe you guys wouldn't have glitter cheeks. I don't know, I like having glitter cheeks. I'm gonna go over it with my highlight a little bit because I feel like that makes sense. Also, who doesn't want more of an intense highlight? We want to be seen from outer space. We want to glow so that NASA registers us on their satellites. I know I've made that joke already on my channel before. Sue me. I reuse jokes, guys. So then the eye look is pretty much done. I'm gonna use my setting spray now because I like to do that before my mascara. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. I've talked about it more than once on my channel. Um, I accidentally made my mascara really clumpy on the bottom here, but say la vie. Can't get everything perfect, if we're being honest. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more blush. Cause I just feel like Slytherins would have a very like intense look, you know? Again, I'm sorry, Slytherins, if I got your look wrong. This is just how I felt a Slytherin might want to look. And then we're just going to end with our lipstick. I'm going to use this ColourPop. I forget what these are called. I think it's a Lippy Sticks. I've had it forever, so much so that all the writing has worn off. But it's called Nevermind. It's this, like, super dark, purpley, raisin, dark color. And I know it's cliche, but I just feel like Slytherins would want to wear, like, really dark lipstick and I also like to wear a really dark lipstick so no shade. My lips are super thin so I have to be really careful while I put them on so I can't talk. Obviously I can't talk while putting on lipstick. I feel like you'd have to be a very talented person to be able to talk while doing this. <laughs> now we're pretty much done with the makeup look. You Slytherins, let me know down below if you feel like this is a makeup look that you would wear. All right, let me do that zoom in thing that the beauty gurus do where they like show you the final look. But that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'll link my Gryffindor look down below if you want more of this content. I hope to do Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff soon. I think I'll probably have to buy some makeup for the Hufflepuff look because I don't really have very much yellow. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a nice day. Send me your location, let's 